Hello, Team Gallo. This is Coach Rigo. This is going to be lesson number nine on our Wednesday today. Um, January the 12th. Today, uh, I'm going to show you kind of a wacky technique. Um, I used to play around a lot with this kind of stuff, but basically what this is, this is a lapel rubber guard, or some people call it a gubber guard. The D and the rubber, the pineapple pen kind of thing. Anyway, it's basically a lapel pen. So I'm going to show you how to manage it, how to get to it, and then we can probably hit about two, two things I'm going to show you today. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Um, I used to do this with, um, I was always the small guy, so I used to do this, everyone was always bigger than me, so uh, I always had to find tricks to kind of maneuver around these big guys and how to deal with their strength. Now, can big guys use this? Absolutely, 100%. You can use this. Probably even better for them. Uh, everything's a little bit easier when you're a little bit bigger sometimes. Unless you're too big and you get slow. But other than that, okay, we're going to get right into it, okay? So we're going to need to get you the dummy. Okay, or a partner who's also a dummy. Let's go listen to you. I'm just kidding. Um, then you get a dummy and you're gonna throw a gi on it, okay? Just the top. You don't need the bottom. Okay. Redundant. If it's already on the bottom, just leave it on. But keep the gi on the top, okay? And stay tuned because we're gonna we're gonna move on to this whole thing, okay? Okay, so what we're gonna be doing here is you're gonna get your, your dummy with your gi on, okay? And close guard, okay? Starting from the close guard. Now, what we're going to be doing is, if the person is a live person, you wouldn't want to bring them down and get them into a nice control position and across the head. Okay? What we're going to do is we're actually going to fish out the lapel here. He doesn't have a belt on. Sometimes if you get your partner got a belt on, you're going to have to like peel it out. But basically what I want you to do is get this lapel. Okay? Once you got that lapel, okay, I'm going to want you to shrimp out just for a second. Controlling the guy so he doesn't get escape. I just want to shrimp out just a bit. I want to get this, this foot out here, okay? And I'm gonna wrap this around my foot like that. And I'm gonna straighten it out. What that's gonna do when I straighten it out, it's gonna get me a lot of extra slack here, okay? Now the other foot, okay? The other foot's gonna come across the back and I'm gonna wrap this excess around that foot. So I kind of have it like that, that foot's free, okay? And I'll show you kind of a different version right after this, like a different angle, okay? Once I have that, okay, this side over here, I'm gonna turn just a little bit. Now that I have a dummy, his arm just kinda falls to the mat anyway, but some people are gonna try to keep it framed on the inside. If that happens, just like a normal rubber drive, you're gonna wanna kinda fish it through and tuck it, okay? You don't wanna hide that because we're gonna be attacking this kind of side, okay? And we don't need that arm messing with us. Now with the other arm, a lot of the times, your partner's gonna be framing off or trying to get you out of this position. Now, what I'd like to do in this position is get this arm, this bottom arm here, up and over the shoulder, okay? And I want to get my forearm, yeah, I'm just going to switch grips for I want to get my forearm under his neck eventually, okay? So once I have that grip back, okay, just like that, okay? Once I have that arm over his shoulder, I can then start to frame away and getting this arm kind of across the shoulder blade and almost underneath his chin. Okay, I can I can push the head like this if you need to. Okay. The free foot can go around the world and across on the other side of the neck there. Okay, I'll show you a different angle. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna push the head and this foot's gonna come all the way around. I don't let go of anything, okay? All the way around. From this, we're gonna get a nice little choke. And basically all you're gonna do from this position, don't let go of anything. I want you to elongate your legs. If you can, cross your feet and squeeze, okay? It's gonna drive the shoulder into the neck and there's a little bar across the other side. So you're gonna cut off both sides. Nice little choke there, okay? And I'm gonna show you the same thing from the other, the other side, so you can get full uh, visual on it. Okay, close guard, here we are. Different, different view, okay? I'm gonna reach in, I'm gonna control, controlling the guy. I'm gonna reach in and fire out a nice little pop. Now, if the guy's hands are on the inside, I fire it out this way, it's fine. But then I'm gonna wanna come over top of that arm, getting that arm underneath mine. Okay, that's really important. If you don't, it's going to be hard to get your foot up and it's a, it's a whole different choke altogether if you're doing it that way. Okay? And we'll probably cover that later. But this right here, I'm just controlling the guy, getting to this material out. I'm going to open up my guard just for a second so I can just kind of shrimp out a little bit getting this foot. And you kind of want to do this simultaneously. I'm going to shrimp and get that over my foot. Now I can extend. See that? Right there on the foot. I extend it nice and high, controlling the guy. Okay? Once it's there, my back foot 
comes across the back underneath that lapel. See that? It goes right underneath. Now I can delete the foot. Okay, and I have this position. It's a nice little control here. Now, remember the other side of the arm, keeping it tucked in. Okay? From here, all we're gonna do is I wanna get this arm over top. Okay? So once we're here and the guy's kind of off to the side because once you go like this, the guy's arm kind of travels upwards, and that's fine. Okay? So a lot of times when you switch, when you get your foot in there, see that foot? You're sneaking through. Once you get that foot in there, you're gonna wanna get this sucker. Once you delete that foot, you're gonna wanna go around that shoulder. Okay? Just like that. Around that shoulder. Now from here, you can use your foot on the mat, you can use your foot on the person. I like to just push the face and doing this and doing the kind of a little bit of a shrimp. I push, getting that arm underneath his head, and the leg comes around the world. Around the world onto the other side of the head. And then I extend. That's it. Okay, that's your choke. Try it on a partner. Be careful because that's a nasty one. That's really just wrenching. It's gonna be like just pulling your head off their shoulders. Okay. I'm gonna show you uh, also if it doesn't pan out. I always like to show a technique and then try to show another technique just in case. So always always gonna have a plan B, sometimes C and E. And it's in your pockets waiting just in case things don't work out. Okay? Show you the next one. Okay, same position, closed guard, then he's got the knee on. Everything's pretty much the same in the beginning, okay? Controlling the guy, you know, I really want to get that lapel out. Oof, it's already out kind of. There, shrimp, foot, extending. Foot's gonna come around, through the lapel, and there we are, okay? I have my grip, okay? So a lot of the times, you're gonna have guys fighting you with this stuff, that fighting you with that, or keeping everything tight, okay? I wanna get around this arm, so, you know, I could be really pulling in, and I wanna get around, so I can even use my other hand to help me out and stuff, okay? Now, if we get to the position where the guy's really strong, he's not really doing much, I can't create any space to get out, it's, it's pretty simple to actually just kind of uh, shrimp a little bit, and that's gonna extend him, so I can actually bring this over his shoulders. So some people aren't flexible enough to go around the world around the head. Sometimes you can, you can just get to this shoulder, and that's fine. If you can get to this, we have other moves we can do. So you don't have to be super flexible or anything like that, okay? If I can just get this leg, this free leg, on top of the shoulder next to my hand, we're good. Because all we gotta do now is basically let go, okay? We're gonna let go, and I'm gonna chop down with that foot. So when I go here, I let go, there it is. Chop, chop, there's a triangle. Okay, you could always adjust. Remember, adjusting, going over top, in, passing the arm across the face, closing, and chain. Okay, so one more time. We're here, control. Okay, I'm gonna reach in, find that lapel. There it is, the bottom of it. Okay, once we've got that, fire it out, shrimp, get it on the foot, fire it straight up. Okay, wrap around the ankle on the other foot. Okay. Here we are. Oh, I got his hand all trapped in there. That's even easier, okay? Legs basically gonna come right on top, right? Oh, sorry, this is kind of messed up. Let me start over. Once I get that over my foot, just like that. Working with dummies are fun. And then we get that on top, arm on top, okay? Now I get that, that free leg right on top of the shoulder. I can let go. I'm gonna grab my ankle, pull it across the back, get the arm out. Lock up the triangle, bridge a little bit so you can clear the arm, and pass it. Bring it back, crunch, okay? You basically got yourself a nice little triangle there, okay? The other choke I believe is called a Conto choke, when that leg comes over top. Flavio Conto, I think it is. Flavio Conto, I believe, and then all you do is extend. If you can't get that, you get the triangle, okay? That's your kind of uh, move of the week, all right? Try it out on your family, your friends, uh, be nice with your dogs and stuff, okay? Um, Ex-boyfriends, just, you know, get rid of them. Okay, okay. moving on. So the, uh, the workout sec section, section of, uh, of the, uh, the program here. So uh, I usually like to do four workouts. Sorry, four, not eight. Four workouts, one minute each, four times, okay? So you got four workouts, and then you're gonna have four sets. Okay, each, each workout is one minute. Pretty simple, right? You got a timer, hit one minute. Okay, the first one is basically butt scoots. Okay, now we're gonna go forward and back. Depending on how much room you have in your living room or basement or wherever you are, 
Uh, try to clear as much space as you can. That gives you more room. Otherwise, you're gonna be going back and forth like crazy. Okay, move the coffee table. Get it out of there. Okay. The first one I want you to do is a butt scoot backwards. I don't want you to touch the floor. Okay. I want you to bring your feet in. Okay. Bring your feet in, and I want you to push out. Don't go too high. Land on your butt hard. Just pushing out like this. I got enough room behind me. I can keep on going. Okay. Once I get to the end, I'm gonna pretend like I'm pulling somebody in, and I'm gonna scoot forward, kind of like a butterfly push. You know. Just pulling in. Back and forth. One minute. Okay, next one is the butt scoot sideways. Okay, this is kind of a weird one. Now, more advanced guys, your feet don't touch the floor. Okay, no, no. I want you to hop with your butt. And then coming back. Great core exercise. And back and forth. If you can't do that, use your feet a little bit. Just to help you get that motion across. Do that. Hands do not touch the mat. Okay? That's number two. One minute. Another one we're gonna do is, we're, it's pretty simple. I like to do a turtle to standing and then back down again with a sprawl. So it's a nice little workout to keep you warm. You're gonna start in a turtle, tur uh, turtle position and I want you to do kind of get diamond with your fingers. So you're kind of like this. Diamond with your fingers. Now all I want you to do is get up with both your feet. Don't get up like an old guy. Don't do that. I want you to do this. Hand on the mat. Up. Okay. Sprawl. Okay. Back to turtle with that diamond. Up. Sprawl. Done. Up. Sprawl. Done. Okay. One minute. That should get you pretty warm. Now, last one we're going to do, we can use our dummy. Okay. It's a very simple thing to do. Uh, it's even easier if you have a gi on it because you can kind of really pull them. You're going to start in a full mount situation. Okay, here we go, full mount. What we're going to do is what we're going to pretend to do anyway, is we're going to pretend that the guy bumped and rolled us. So we're going to end up in close guard. Okay, next up, I want you to grab the hands, put them to your chest. I want you to get one foot on the hip, and the other foot on the hip. I want you to extend it all the way up, and I want you to go like a, sh a roll back. So I'm gonna put it over my shoulder, okay? I'm gonna make sure I have enough room. Over my shoulder, and then I'm gonna continue to the mount. Again. Once I have, once I'm in the close guard on this guy, hands are in the middle, foot, foot, straight up, and I'm gonna go over one shoulder, okay? Just look over the shoulder you wanna to go to. And I bring myself right to mount again. It's a nice little drill to do, just back and forth. So you just roll over again. So once you're mounted again, you know, you can bump the other way. Get him here, one, two, up, and over you go, okay? So, that's your fourth word. So, four exercises, one minute each. I want you to do it four times. Okay, that should get you nice and sweaty. Okay, other than that, uh, we're gonna keep on letting you guys know the news about the gym as we go. For sure, by the time you guys get back at the gym, we're gonna be upstairs with our normal gym, and then we're gonna have a new mural and all that stuff being painted later on. But, hope to see you guys soon. Keep training, keep going, okay? Because tournament season is gonna be right around the corner once this stuff is done, okay? And I need you guys to be fit. Other than that, guys, keep training, stay fit, have fun.